Hello, welcome back to Blend Switch Live Noting. In this episode, I want to share uh, this note setup of Geometry Notes. This is actually one of my favorite uh, trick uh, that you can perform using uh, Procedural. So this is, uh, what is this exactly? This is basically just like a random walk, okay? So we create like a random walk and it's basically like a, kind of like a curve that's growing and then I simply mirror the curve and then that's pretty much it and we have all kind of random seed affecting the random walk and we have also this count to control the random walk of the curve it's a little bit like a like a tree but because in in blender especially with uh, procedural <clears throat> and a modifier you can easily mirror it so you get all kind of interesting result right away because of the mirror, okay? The symmetry gives you a lot. So yeah, the node setup itself is really simple. Like I'd say, like I said, there's a seed. The seed is currently being controlled by the frame. And then there's a count, how many, how many lines, how many points you want to use to grow, to grow our setup or like the design. And then what's the radius of the curve that you are growing? I think the radius also can be randomized, but in this case, uh, let's take a look anyway. So curve, I started with a curve line. It doesn't matter uh, which directions it goes. It's gonna be resample anyway, and then set position. And I'm really just using random. This can be less random, like if you're using like a grease pencil or like a curve, so you can draw your own design to start with. But I'm just using random. So random number between minus one and one. Random the seed, randomize the seed. And use accumulate field. So this is like a just a normal normal random walk. And then I okay, I'm resampling the curve once again over here, which is uh, interesting. I don't need I probably don't need to do that. Um okay, maybe I need it. And this can be divided by length. So anyway, I turn this into a volume. So volume can have a radius specify over here, but the radius can also be random. And then I use a volume to mesh to create uh, uh, the actual mesh itself. And I'm using adaptivity. So adaptivity will give you interesting topology on top of that. You can use a triangulated, um, and dual mesh this is also give you like a kind of like a Voronoi fake Voronoi topology on your mesh so it's give kind of a more interesting design you can actually uh, if you du duplicate this you can randomize the seed until you're happy with the shapes and then randomize the seed once again until you get the shapes that you like so this could be like a the design for like a mecha robot or like a like a alien spaceship and yeah this is one of example but it's really totally random but it's give like an interesting result because it's like it's a little bit like a tree like i said so it's uh let me just keep doing this for a while you can you can sort of make similar design uh using what is it called a uh, sapling or like, like a tree because it's really just totally random but it's just keep growing if you increase the, the count so maybe you just create duplicates and randomize the seed and then again duplicate randomize the seed and keep doing that until you're happy with it and all you after you do this, you just do like a remesh. I think that should actually work. So duplicate this guy. Right click, convert it to mesh. So it's become a single mesh and just join it together and then just do another remesh. This one. Okay, because the unit size is pretty big. This might take a while, but usually Blender and 
rematch is pretty fast. <clears throat> uh, maybe this one is a little bit complicated. Okay, it's done. <clears throat> I just uh, apply this. And at this point, the because the radius of the mesh is actually kind of constant, that's why it's a uh, it might be a little bit too constant and boring. But uh, we can perhaps at this point reduce. Let's save this first and then decimate 10%. Of the original I think <clears throat> oh yeah by the way uh, you can also use try using extrusions here in this case I'm just using the dual mesh topology but if you are using like uh, some kind of random extrusion as well you're gonna get like branching so it will create more interesting uh, shape and stuff I remember one of a uh, Houdini artists actually doing similar thing. Akira, I forgot his name, but if you ever go out and take a look at trees, and then if you imagine if you just make like symmetry on the trees, you're gonna get this type of shapes and design that you can use to create uh, creatures. Of course, it's just using like a like a symmetry but it, it it could work like I said this is one of my favorite trick oh, okay this is also can be pretty heavy if you're not careful let's delete this for now and just continue Maybe I should rescale this guy. It has too, yeah, too many resolutions. I'm holding uh, options while changing the radius, so you can see how uh, it's taking a shape organically. Let's duplicate. Right click. Oh, select everything. Right click. Convert to mesh. It's gonna apply all geometry nodes into a single mesh and then command J scale it down like this small and then control A apply all transform so we want to have just a small unit size actually even smaller maybe control Command A, add transformations. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I'm trying to do here. Oops. Hide this. Right click, set origin to geometry. Option G, reset the position. Control A, apply all transform. Remesh should be faster if the object is small. Okay, this is what I, what I want to show you. So we get these organic shapes. View, um, frame, selected. Okay. Now we have this nice shape. We can actually decimate, <coughs> decimate and do another dual mesh. But, okay, we don't have internet. At this point, you can always go to Sculpt and do this uh, filter, Mesh filter, Cloth filter. This is also one of my favorite trick. Just do like a inflate and deflate. Or it might create like a this type of shape, you know, like a. But it's really, it feels really organic. It's real, like very alien looking. Because this is really fast, okay? 
scalp mode in Blender will try to do everything really, really fast. Inflate and uh, expand maybe. But I like the I like the look. I like the look of it. And you might try to bake this into a texture just for the detail. But there you go. I kind of wish this can be done using geometry nodes, but for now it's just like a quick trick using sculpt mode. All right, so this is a shape that we can create just in just a few minutes. Uh, hopefully you'll find this useful. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.